Okay, Bolo Buddies, I'm back at you with another. I got distracted while I was listening because I wanted to share this Bolo with you. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. I'm in my laundry room listing and I got this from a mystery box, $150 mystery box from Auctions For You. So basically when I get one from her, I request just a hodgepodge of things. Um, things that I can make a video on and make the video educational because I like bringing those unboxings to you guys. And there are so many items in this box that I know nothing about. So that entire unboxing will be coming soon to my Bolo Buddies main channel. But this is a spoiler alert, one of the items I found. And I saw the little tag and I'm like, Ty, hmm, you know, these are usually a bread and butter, but it's super soft and I have never seen this one before. And I'm like, so cute. Everything is hand stitched in, all of his eyes and his uh, nose, it's all hand stitched. And on the tag, it says 100% Tylux. So I'll show you the tag. It is from 2005, so I looked it up. And another thing it says is my baby bear. So I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up comps on this little guy. Um, I'm gonna show you current solds, current active listings. So when I list this, what I'm competing against, I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna price this. Then I'm gonna show you Pluffies in general. These are called Pluffies. How much they're selling for so this is definitely an item that you want to be looking for when you are out at garage sales estate sales thrift stores this little guy is a nice little bolo is he huge money if you've got the original tag you're gonna see some really nice prices this one doesn't have the original tag but stay tuned for how i'm gonna list it and what i'm gonna list it for let's jump right into my screen shares that i have ready to go all right, so right here are the solds. So what I put in is um, T or Ty, I always wanna say T-Y, Ty, my baby bear. And this one, these are not the same. Now this one is the same, but it's brown. So it looks like the brown one does well. Also, um, I'm not seeing a tag on this one and it says 92.89, it says brand new. So I don't know if they're, I, I'm not sure what's going on with that one. Uh, that here's one like mine. It has the original tag sold for 60. And again, I'm not going in and verifying these. I'm searching sold's highest first. And to me, it's, I'm just seeing a consistent price for these. So feel like that's probably about what they're worth. Now, did somebody not pay? Quite possibly, but probably not on all of these. Here's one in blue. So it looks like pink, blue, and brown. But there's also other ones, and we'll um, we'll get into those also. I have no idea why there are My Little Pony. Here, this one only went for $30. I feel like this is a case where somebody didn't do their research and they underpriced it. Auction style, probably not to go the way to go with this item unless you start the auction at the minimum you want to get. So if I were to do an auction, which I might do, we're going to look at active listings here in a minute. Um, I would start my auction at the minimum I want to take. So I need to see how many are listed and what my competition has this item priced at. Again, buy it now, $19, underpriced it. Um, so there's always going to people be people that underprice things. If you're seeing things with high solds in the $40, $50 range, that's probably what you want to lean towards. Because if you don't ask for the high price, you're not going to get it. Okay, so, oh man, see, look at this. Now this does say modified. I don't know what that means. No hang tags. It only sold for $2. Again, don't start your auctions at 99 cents and $2. This picture is just a really bad picture. Probably a reseller bought this to flip it. Um, it looks like it sold from for 99 cents, but actually it's in another country. So, all right, now let's go over to what is active. And then we are going to go look at other Pluffies. P-L-U-F-F-I-E-S right here. That's what these are called. They're super soft. Tylux is what they're made of, um, whatever that is. But anyhow, here are the active listings. So we've got some really high priced brown ones. This one's different, um, but it's also, I believe, 
Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it's a Pluffies or not, but some of the keywords I put in are pulling that one up. Okay, so here's one like mine listed for $90, but it has the hang tag. And I think that's going to bring the value down some on mine, but some people don't care. They just rip them off anyway. It depends if they're, you know, buying it as a collector's item or if they're buying it for their kid. If they're buying it for their kid, they're probably going to pull the tag off anyhow. So $54.99, $60. Um, so we're looking up here, you know, still in the $40, $50 range with the tag. So, oh, it comes in, it looks like cream also, but that one says my little angel. So that one might be a good one to pick up also. But see here, um, the eyes on this one, they do not look hand sewn. And this one is, and some of the people actually put sewn eyes. Here's one for 45. So I'm leaning towards, here's one like mine for 37.50. 36. So let's keep going here and just see how low these go. See if anybody's like goofing, goofing and pricing too low. So this would be an item that you could look for possibly on Mercari where somebody is just way under pricing it and then you could flip it for a profit. I don't know if you guys do that. They've got that one at 15, but it looks pretty well loved. Mine's in pretty good condition. So it looks like uh, no pink that are majorly underpriced that I've seen so far. And typically, you know, I'm not going to do this much research. I'm just showing you guys how to look at the comparables to figure out the best price. Um, even if there is a very low pink one, I'm going to let that one sell and mine's still going to be listed. Um, but let's see. I don't see any. So I think we're good. I am thinking I'm either going to do... I, I don't think an auction would be wise because there's already quite a few listed in the price range that um, I want to be at. But I may price this high and put it on Mercari and Poshmark because there's less competition over there. All right. So now um, I am in solds for my baby bear. This is the specific one that I have. Um except different colors. So it looks like the brown, 98, 92, 60, 50. Um, did I already do this? I think I already did this. Sorry, disregard. Let's go over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I put in T-Y Tylux, T-Y-L-U-X, which is what is on the tag. And when I do that, it pulls up this word fluffies. So that is the style. It looks like this little monkey does pretty well. Because he's in the top two here. I don't know what it ended up selling for, but I'm just trying to get an idea of maybe some other ones that you should be looking for. Here's a little lamb, a mouse. I'm going to say if I see Tylux on the tag, I'm probably going to grab it because typically you can get these things for a buck or so. Maybe less, maybe a little more. But I do think the sewn eyes are great, um, probably because this is for a very, very small child, and that is going to be safer. So don't give this to your dog if you see one. I know a lot of people make sure that dog toys don't have the eyes on them because they can fall off or whatever. So they look for things with hand-sewn eyes. Don't give this one to your dog, okay? All right. So here's another little monkey. But yeah, I mean, 30, 40 bucks for a plush, I consider that a bolo item. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did you know about this item? And definitely go check out auctions for you. Um, she has an awesome uh, YouTube channel where she sells to resellers. Um, I buy from her quite often. I also buy from Donatella Bottolino. They work together back and forth on each other's channels and bring inventory to us. They buy wholesale and they keep the prices at a price where typically they auction things um, or have selling events on their channels and everybody bids, but they'll start the auctions low. They have free shipping um, if you spend $40, which my goodness is amazing. So definitely check both of them out. I will link them in the description of the video, but this is your bolo, or I should say this is my bolo that I didn't know about. So I had to come on and share and now I need to get back to listing, but making videos is so fun and helping you guys learn and learning together. I love it.
So um, if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel and do me a favor. And if you have not subscribed to my main Bolo Buddies channel, go sub that up. And I've got on my Worth Point shirt. I love Worth Point. Um, if you're not using Worth Point and you sell things like clothing, I don't really think Worth Point's for clothing, but if you sell like vintage or even like this stuffed animal, I could look up over there. I found enough on eBay that I feel pretty confident in my listing price. Um, but yeah, Worth Point's great for looking up uh, comparables for your items to know how to list your item. I do have a link down below for that as well. It is a referral link. So if you click on it and you join, I do get credit and I appreciate you using the link. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next one.